to uh, talk about the uh, this toolbar okay and right here on the right side there is something called measure inertia uh, this one of course is measuring uh, for example distance between two points two lines point and a plane etc basic basically two point two two entities and this is also a measure right there maybe diameter maybe radius etc but in, this may be a bit of a mystery to some people so uh, I would like to uh, uh, do a problem where actually this is going to be used and then compare it with some uh, results that we may want to uh, assess the accuracy of what we're doing now the problem that I'm going to be considering is uh, let me show you what it is. It's coming from a, the appendix of a textbook by Marion, dynamics book in Marion. So we have a geometry that is shown here, okay? And uh, these dimensions are in millimeters, except that the thickness of these plates, the, this plate or sheet metal, is so much smaller compared to the dimensions, other dimensions that are involved, that uh, they're going to be ignored when it comes to calculating the uh, the inertia properties. The whole idea is that you're given a part, you're given a coordinate system, x, y, z, okay? Uh, in this particular case, uh, it happens to be in that corner. And then you're given the mass of this object. What you would like to do is to calculate the uh, the inertia matrix and inertia matrix you may recall from uh, from dynamics is a three by three matrix that has in it a uh, systematic matrix ixx ixy ixz etc and, and these uh, the the ixx iyy and izz are called the, uh, the 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 moment of inertia uh, second moment of inertia and then the, those other ones, the, the X, Y, I, X, Z, I, Y, Z, are called cross uh, or product, product of inertials. Okay? Now, uh, in this particular problem, the material is given so that its total mass, it says it's made out of uh, a mass of 13.45 per uh, square meter. It doesn't say what, it says aluminum, okay? And I understand that. But, uh, uh, because the, the the thickness is ignored, the mass is given. The mass is given as per square meter. So what I have done is I've calculated the total mass of this object based on the area, and the information is given here. And once the total mass is calculated, uh, I'm going to input that as density uh, in a, a material. Now, a material, for example, aluminum. Now notice that when it comes to when it comes to doing this problem in Katia, I have to assume some thickness here, and I believe I'm assuming a thickness of one. So the thickness is one. Uh, actually, let, let me see for a second. I'm not 100% sure what I uh, uh, what I did for the the thickness. So let me start this uh, MathCAD file. Let me see for a second. Here I have used the thickness to be one millimeter right here. Okay. So uh, here's the situation. We have uh, here's the Katia, Katia file. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and measure that thickness to see what it what I've used. So measure this uh, 0.039 inches. Okay. So uh, let me change my uh, my 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 length units to uh, millimeters. So tools, options, uh, parameters and measures, units, and change the unit to millimeter. Okay, now let's measure it. One millimeter. All right, very good. Okay. So uh, this part was generated. It's a three-dimensional part. It's a, it's, it's a solid object, as you can see. And then what I did, I applied the, the properties of aluminum on it. However, I have to go and change the density 
I have to go to change the density of the aluminum so that the total mass of this object becomes your 13 becomes equivalent to 1345 um, uh, kilogram per mil millimeter square because remember this number that was given to us this number was 13.45 kilogram per square meter so I had to calculate the total mass of that divided by the volume of it and input that as uh, as uh, density right there don't let it bother you that this density is almost 10, th 10 times the, the the real density of aluminum that's because we are assuming that the thickness uh, this thickness is one okay so uh, you you have to adjust the density so that it becomes, it gives you the total mass of the object that you are interested in. All right, now, everything is done. So let me click on this inertia right there. Click on the inertia right, right there. Measure inertia, you click on it. Now it says, uh, what is it that you want to do? I want to calculate the inertia of this uh, uh, part. Okay, so it gives me First of all, it gives me the coordinates of the uh, the coordinates of the uh, the the, uh, the coordinates of the mass center. Okay, so this point, this point that you see here, that point right there, okay, is the uh, mass center, and it has these coordinates. Then it gives me the six components of uh, inertia. Name the, uh, uh, the IXX, IYY, IZZ, IXY, IXZ, and IYZ about the mass center. Okay? About the mass center. The only thing is that when you look at, uh, uh, when you look at the example by, uh, by uh, uh, Miriam, these inertias are not compared uh, are not calculated with respect to the coordinate system that I had originally here. It's with respect to that coordinate system which whose origin is at the bottom left corner. Now, when I created this object here, look, look at look at look at look at this. I created with respect to the the mass center or, or the uh, the global origin, which was right there, not with respect to that. So this is why. I have also here created a local coordinate system. So let me see now. There you can see that. Let me let me close this for a second. Okay. See that? This is the coordinate system, the axis system that I have created for the sole reason of measuring those uh, those inertials with respect to this. Otherwise, these are measured. These are measured with respect to the global coordinate system, which is centered right there. Uh, and with respect to that coordinate system and at the uh, corresponding to the mass center. Okay, so mass moment of inertia corresponding to the mass center with respect to the global coordinate system X, Y, Z, which is not that. Okay, so how do we calculate or transform this information to the coordinate system which is in that corner? I believe that you can uh, uh, let me see say say uh, uh, say okay all right uh, now measure inertia okay. with of this. However, I want to customize inertia with respect to access system. You click on this guy, okay, inertia matrix by selecting the access system. You click on that and you say okay. Notice that now you have the option of selecting the access system. There's the tab is no longer in do. So you click on that and then you put the cursor or select this. Select the access system, you put the cursor there, and you pick it from the screen. 
and it does calculate it right there. So notice that now, now the the inertia terms of that matrix are calculated with respect to the point uh, with with respect to the uh, with respect to that coordinate system. Okay. Uh, now. So uh, the only thing is that how do we check these things? So if you go to Miriam's uh, book, these are calculated. Let me see for a second. These are the answers that the person has got. Okay, so let me make this thing bigger. Okay, and none of these things actually match with what I have in here. Okay, well, uh, why don't we do the following? Let me, uh, they may be close. If you look at this, for example, if you look at this, okay, so uh, uh, I, uh, uh, I, Y, Y, it says 0 0.004 kilogram meter squared, okay, and if we go here, uh, I, Y, Y, this is kind of in the, it is actually, you can see that this is going to be uh, point, uh, well, this is kilogram per meter squared. If you multiply it, uh, let me see for a second. If you multiply this thing by, uh, uh, let, me, let me check this. That is the same, same. It's 4 10 to the minus 4, okay? Because it's written as 0 0.004, it is 4 10 to the minus 4, or 40, uh, let's see now, 4, 40 10 to the minus 4, which is actually not very far from that. So what I'm going to do instead is the following. Why don't I go and change my unit so that it shows it to you in the form of kilogram millimeter square? Okay, because there, there is some rounding, rounding issues involved here. So let me close this, go to Tools, Options, under Inertia, under Inertia, select it, Inertia, see that? It says Inertia, this is not what I want, this is the one, Inertia Products, okay, for example, and I'm going to change it to kilogram millimeter squared. Kilogram millim uh, kilogram millimeter square right there, and we say okay, and repeat this. Uh, if you multiply, if you say measure inertia, uh, yeah, select the part, access system. Notice that now it says when you look at I Y Y. Uh, select this, select the access system, it becomes right here, uh, 4300 kilogram millimeter square, which is precisely, well, I mean, uh, very close to uh, this number that we had uh, in Miriam, right there, Point, uh, uh, 43.2, 10 to the minus 4 kilogram per meter. Uh, meter squared. Now let's check something else. Let's check for, check for example IXX. IXX is right there. It's 1625, but this is a kilogram meter squared, which is consistent with this 16 whatever. Let's check this one, IYZ. IYZ is right here, and although this is not zero, but look at the number. It's a lot smaller compared to these other numbers. So for all practical purposes, this can be assumed to be zero. How about IXY? Uh, this one says uh, 575, IXY. So let's check this, IXY, uh, right there. Uh, 5.86 10 to the minus four, which is uh, same. Now, uh, the signs, the sign of these things are off. So this is negative, you can see that, let me check that. Uh, so IXY says here negative IXY, whereas here it says positive. That's because in in dynamics books uh, those inertia terms are usually called minus IXY, 
or minus uh, uh, i in, in the in the matrix minus i x y minus i y z etc. But it looks like in Katia these are uh, these are the absolute values. You you never uh, you, you basically the negative ones. See these these two i x z and i y z are well this one is zero supposedly. This is negative, whereas in Miriam Miriam's book it is positive. Okay, so there is a sign. Uh, these these are offset by a negative sign. That's because of the the definition of uh, uh, the in, uh, products of inertia in dynamics books and in Katia. Okay, so uh, that's good. At, at least you know that if you have a a, a problem a geometry and uh, you are asked to find its, uh, uh, for example, uh, mass moment of inertia, which obviously is going to be a, a matrix in general. Uh, you can do it uh, with respect to the uh, uh, with respect to the uh, what is it called uh, the center of mass okay the mass center uh, you see for a second the mass center or uh, and, and you have uh, with respect to the core the system that you have used, or you can create your own coordinate system and then select that, and it'll give you the uh, the appropriate values. All right. See, made of aluminum. Calculate the principal moments of inertia about the origin. Oh, uh, the origin. Or oh, that. The only unfortunate thing is that in Katia. Uh, if you select a coordinate system, if you select a coordinate system, okay, the principal moment of inertia are always going to be given to you with respect to the coordinate system that goes through the mass center, okay, not uh, the coordinate system that goes through any other point. Because think about it, okay, uh, you have uh, principal moments when the coordinate system is at origin. You can work it out, and this is what Katia gives you. Uh, coordinate system goes through, uh, not the origin, I meant the, uh, the, the mass center. Or you can have the uh, principal, uh, principal uh, 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 principal inertias, where the coordinate system is this one, this x, y, z, and uh, Unfortunately, Katia will not give you that. It'll, go, it'll only give you the principles if you your uh, your coordinate system goes through the, the origin. So let's think about it here. If you look at the inertia through the through the the mass center, it gives you the principal values right there. But when you go to any other coordinate system, such as the one that I've taken, it will not give me the uh, it will not give me the uh, the principal uh, in inertia values. Okay. All right. I hope this is helpful for you to uh, sort some of these out.